Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Well Rig. Today we're taking a look at some really cool stuff. Well Rig's all about the most durable and well-built products on the face of the earth. Today we're taking a look at the handmade Turton Scissors by Ernest Wright & Sons in Sheffield, England. They've been around since 1902, I believe, and these things have been handmade ever since then. Sheffield, of course, is, is well known for uh, its cutlery industry. And these uh, scissors are covered under a lifetime warranty. We're going to pop this open, slide it out. Ta-da! Check it out, folks. Every pair of jewel. Every pair of jewel. By Ernest Wright & Sons. they got a nice crest going on here. And um, what does it say here? Handmade scissors and shears since 1902. Sheffield, England. Turn this around. It's very nice packaging. And Ernest, uh, at Ernest Wright, we dedicate, we're dedicated to producing supreme quality handmade scissors and shears with proper use and little care. And a little care, they'll love you back for a lifetime. Check it out. Someone once said that these scissors are probably the only kind of scissors, the only scissors you could actually give as a wedding present. They're really, really nice. And I'll uh, check, check them out. Voila, folks. Uh, well, what we got here is a certificate from from the city of Sheffield with the seal of the, she of the city of Sheffield and the Lord Mayor of Sheffield's signature. And this is basically um, a certificate of authenticity. So that's kind of, that's great for um, people who are looking into, you know, collecting and stuff like that. This is a real piece of history. Uh, <clears throat> Ernest Wright & Sons is one of the very last handmade made, uh, scissors manufacturers in the UK. So here you have them, um, a nice, nice high hand, high, high, nice polish to them, a little serration on one end, bottle opener, and uh, nutcracker right here. Beautiful scissors, just that classic look, you know, I, I say it's like, they're like the fancy version of, of your grandmother's uh, forged scissors that she used to keep in her drawer right so today we're going to be having a look at them uh, doing a review of them and uh, you can also check them out online a real piece of history and a uh, piece of history that was almost lost last year um, but the company has um, been saved and that's a really great thing for historical value at least so. let me tell you something about Ernest Wright and this is why these scissors are going to be heirlooms uh, they're going to be valuable to your children. Industrial stainless steel was first produced in Sheffield and it became the hotbed for uh, creating cutlery, specifically high quality cutlery. There's a whole guild there around it. So this and, and the last of the handmade scissors are made by Ernest Wright. This is the last, okay? This is why I'm saying these pieces are really valuable. They're more than just a pair of useful scissors you're going to use day by day. I say, you know, if you pass these things on to your kids, it's a way of your kids remembering you every day. Interesting, right? Because you, who, who doesn't use scissors? They've been using them for centuries. It's, it's, a, it's a practical heirloom, not just something you kind of put on a wall and look at. All right, so let's uh, give the uh, Ernest Wright Turtons uh, a little test here. Now, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a cook by any means. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like it's probably designed for slicing cucumbers. Could be cleaner, right? You might be, do better with a knife with this. This probably isn't exactly what you use kitchen knives for. Let's try um, some celery. That's much better. Probably has to do with the size of the blade and the knife. Uh, the cucumber is a little too large for kitchen scissors like this. So that's not too bad. Try some parsley. Just like trimming a head, you know. Now, if any of you are chefs, don't give me a hard time. I hardly even know what I'm doing. I'm just doing what I think people are supposed to do with <laughs> with kitchen scissors. Um, this is what I'm actually interested in seeing how they do in meat because knowing poultry, especially the skin and the oils tend to slip 
between blades. So this is going to be the test of all tests. See how it goes. Well, I just went through bone right there. You see that? Try another slice. Well, they say that kitchen scissors are, um, that mainly just took the skin on that one. I'm gonna get some flesh here. Yeah. It's still a struggle, I think, a little bit, but not. There you go, there's a bite right there. So folks, these aren't just high performing scissors. They're, they're, you're buying a story. You're buying the story of Sheffield. You're buying the story of Ernest Wright and Sons that has existed since 1902, part of British history. And not only that, a true hand forged, last of a kind, last of a kind product. You won't find these anywhere else. The only other place I think that they make high quality handmade scissors in Japan. And many, most of them are for like the hair cutting industry and things like that. Well, folks, that's uh, that's uh, another review for you, and I, I hope you enjoyed it. Look, go over to wellrig.com, check out all the other uh, super high quality, super tough products that I've got going on there. I'm sure you'll love them. You know, we're living in a in a day of of compromise, uh, compromised uh, marketplace where everything is just junk, but they still do make quality nowadays. You just have to look harder, and that's what I'm all about. I'm looking harder for you guys. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, subscribe if you want. And I'm going to try to keep putting out great videos and giving you guys recommendations on the best stuff out there. Catch you later.